Video from inside this Camden County jail cell shows the moment before a group of correctional officers can be seen punching Jared Hobbs. The 41-year-old's attorney tells us Hobbs was allegedly beating on the door and being disruptive. They could have killed him. This is inexcusable. Harry Daniels represents Hobbs. We talked over the phone Monday. He says his client is now dealing with PTSD. This happened on September 3rd, and on that day, Daniel says his client was suffering a psychological episode. And that's why he was uh, you know, dressed in the blue with, with no clothes on, uh, but he's doing the best as he can be doing uh, at, the, at this current time. Prior to going to jail, Daniel says Hobbs was arrested for speeding, driving with a suspended, revoked license, and possession of a controlled substance. This was no short of a gang attack. He was not fighting them. The Camden County Sheriff reviewed the video and ordered an internal investigation. In a statement, the Sheriff's Office says the names of all people involved will be confidential until the conclusion of the inquiry. The Sheriff's Office did not say what is happening to the officers while the investigation is ongoing. So for you to tell me two and a half months later, just because the video surface on social media, all of a sudden with an investigation, you never had any intent in the first place to an investigation. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.